my channel so today we are going to take a look on AWA advanced work assignment in service now so uh, in the in this video we are going to understand what is AWA advanced work assignment and how to configure that AWA advanced work assignment so recently I have also posted one community article on service now community so I will also provide the link of this article in the description section so you can also follow this article to understand the practical implementation of uh, AWA. So now uh, I have one image to explain what exactly AWA is. So I'm pretty sure that everyone is aware about assignment rules. So that automates the routing of the groups based on some certain conditions. So the same way uh, in the AWA we have a service channel work items queues and agents so aw advanced work assignment helps you to assign the or route the tickets or tasks based on agents capacity capability availability and skills so three things is important here capacity availability and skills so it actually analyzes all these things and then it assign it routes those tasks or tickets to the agent so let's suppose if you have an incident record in case so whenever any incident gets created and you have group A and group B and all group have different different members. So what AWA will do, it will take that incident from the queue and it will route to the group A first. So the member from a group A will get prompt to accept or reject the task. So they can either they can accept or reject the task. So if they accept it at the point of time, the same task will would get assigned to them. If they reject it, they have to uh, specify a reason like why they are rejecting that task. <coughs> so that is how it is continuously running in a loop till to group B also until that task gets accepted by any of the agents. So before wasting our time, let's get back to the practical implementation. Okay, so uh, I have opened my PDI now. I'll just uh, go to all in the filter navigator and I'll type service channel So the moment I'll, I'll type service uh, space CHA you can see that under the advanced work assignment you see service channel So the most important thing uh, while starting with AWA first we'll have to configure a service channel So I'll just open it. So in our scenario, we are going to configure a AWA for incident so if any of the incident gets created so it will route to this particular group for the uh, routing assignment so that agent can get a prompt to accept or reject the task so I'll just click you can see that here are some out of the box service channels already created like chat asynchronous chat email case now we'll just click on new okay now I'll have to provide a name so as I am doing it for, for incident so I'll simply provide the incident and let's say inbox order is 1000 and I'll uh, provide a short description like this is for incident records. Now in the table I'll have to select incident table because I'm doing it for incident. Now you can see that the moment I selected the table assigned to field and assignment group field got auto populated assigned to field is matched to assigned to on the incident table and the assignment group field got matched with assignment group table on the incident from the incident table. So here you see a checkboxes there like advanced conditions. So the moment I click on this, you can see that I will get a condition section to create a condition. So I'll simply provide one condition state is new because I want for every incident. I want uh, that agent should get prompted with every inch created incident. So let's click incident state is new. And now in the utilization condition, this is important part. So in the utilization condition based on this utilization condi condition, it is going to identify that. Yes, this is the incident which uh, should be route with the help of AWA. So I'll just take the same condition as state is new. That depends on several factor. You can also utilize uh, give the different condition based on your requirement in the utilization condition section. So now I will save it. So the moment I saved it as of now you can see that active is false. So uh, most of time while configuring AWA we make a common 
mistake like we sometimes we forgot to make this true so we'll just act make the active to right away okay so now our service channel we have created a service channel and it is active now the for uh, the important thing and the another second step step number two we'll have to configure a queue now in this queue all the incident record will get placed first and from this queue it will route to the agents so under the re in the related uh, list section you can see that queue section so i'll just click on new okay now uh, the same way i'll have to provide the name so i'll just give the name incident and in the short description i'll just provide this queue will hold the incident records and work item routing condition so based on this condition it is going to route so the same condition i'm going to provide here state is new and i will just save it okay now i have created a queue so as of now we have created service channel and under that service channel we have created a queue so you can also see that in this queue a service channel field uh, is there so under the service channel our service channel is getting populated which we created now in this assignment eligibility section i will have to configure a new assignment eligibility for that i'll click on new so okay so it is saying change you so you made may not be saved okay so let me save it one more time okay now i'll click on new now you can see that i'll have to provide assignment rule as agent assignment rule and groups so here i need to uh, provide the assignment rule or the group group would be the only group where in which the incidents will be routing with the help of awa so i'll just click on magnifying glass so as of now i have already created one assignment rule so i'll just select it and i'll show you what i have done in this assignment rule so i'll just open it so as of now in this assignment in this assignment rule i have not provided any kind of conditions so because we have already provided a condition in the work work item routing condition in the service channel so this is just i have provided assign by so you have two options you can assign it by last assign or a most capacity like which agent has the capacity to work on that incident now it has three related lists auto assign handling rejection handling and skill handling as of now i have just configured rejection handling so allow agents to reject i would allow agents to reject and also i will reassign to timeout reassign on timeout so i have given the timeout is 30 seconds so for a 30 second it is get it is going to get prompted to a single agent and then it will route to the another agent again for 30 seconds so the same way it will work in a loop until that task or incident gets assigned to someone else or any agent get accepted now i will come back here i have selected my assignment rule and here i have also uh, created one group which is called incident support group I'll show you that group as well. Incident. This is the group I have created. So I'll just uh, lock it out and save it. Okay. So before I uh, move further, let me show you the group. Sys underscore user underscore group dot list. Okay, I'll open it. So I have created a group and under which I have only one member for now, which is able tutor. Now you need to make sure that under the role section, this group should have three roles, which is ITL because we are going to deal with incident. So for to read and write on the incident table we should have ITL rule and AW agent so AWA advanced work assignment capabilities only eligible for the workspace user 
like only workspace user can access that uh, access this or utilize this AWA. So uh, within the workspace, they will get a prompt. And this agent workspace user. So these three role should uh, inherit this group. So like you need to provide these three roles. So it's these three roles should be there while uh, configuring any group for the AWA or any user. Now I will come back here. Now you can see that as of now we have created assignment eligibility. Now the last thing we'll have to configure which is present state. So under the advanced work assignment you can see that this present state. So I'll open it and what the present state is to so say it is the same thing like in our Microsoft Teams we have available away be right back. So same way we have three uh, present state in the service now which is available away offline. If we want we can also create it. But as of now we are only going to configure our AW for available present state. So I'll just have to you can see that under the service channel our service channel is getting populated which is incident. Now I'll just need to send it to the selected section. I'll just click on this and click on this add section and I'll save it. Okay, so it has saved now. So as of now if I'll impersonate able tutor because able tutor has necessary role able tutor has ITL role with the, which is inheriting by incident support group. The same way a, a, a able tutor has AWA agent role agent workspace role and AWA agent uh, AWA agent role. Now if you see this uh, inbox as of now status is offline. So if I make it available so you can see that nothing is there in the inbox. Okay, so I'll just again make it offline. I'll end the impersonation. I'll and I'll go back and try to create a new incident. Okay, I'll again navigate to filter navigator and simply type incident dot do. Okay, I'll take caller as VP Gerard Bennett and I'll provide the description demo for AWA. So just note the number here one it is ending with one double zero double four. I will save it. Now I come back to the home page and I will again impersonate the able tutor. And see if whenever he changes his status from offline to available. If that incident is uh, prompted to him or not. So now you can see that status. I'll just change it to available and just wait for a while and see if now you can see that this inbox got prompted with a timeout seconds of 30 seconds with the time of 30 seconds which we provided. So the moment I reject it. So it would get route to another agent. But as of now in my support group, I have only able tutor. So I'll just simply click on accept it. So the moment I clicked on accept. So you can see that this incident got assigned to able tutor with assignment group is incident support group. Now I'll just reload it. So the same thing uh, you could have configured with the help of uh, assignment rule. But if with the help of assignment rule, no matter if your agent is available, no matter what what the conditions is, it is directly assigned. It is directly going to assign that uh, task or incident uh, based on predefined condition. But in AWA the three, it also ensures that agent should be available, capable and agent should have a uh, skill to handle that task or ticket. So this is how we can configure a AWA. So if you have any doubts, please do let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please do share and subscribe. Thank you.